Shalom friends, I hope all is well. The information comes from the Testament of the Twelve Patriarch book. In Proverbs 6 verses 24 to 26, To keep you from the evil woman, from the flattering tongue of a seductress, do not lust after her beauty in your heart, nor let her allure you with her eyelids. For by means a harlot, a man is reduced to a crust of bread, and adulteress will prey upon his precious life. Now Reuben's testimony, he is the first one of the twelve tribes of Israel. Reuben defiles the bed in his youth with the spirit of fornication. God strike Reuben with a deadly plague and he was very sick for seven months in the area of his loins. Reuben repented and mourned for his sin for seven years. He drank no strong drink and ate no pleasant food. When Reuben repented, he was shown the seven spirits of the seeds. These are the seven deadly sins that enter through open barriers, your senses, belly, liver, gall, and private parts. Now this is fornication, lust, gluttony, pride, injustice, lying, plus lying, um, envy, greed, wrath. God told Reuben that women are overtaken by the spirit of fornication because the enemy targets the woman to take out the man. Reuben furthermore explained to his children to stay away from a harlot woman. Don't lust after the beauty of women. Stay away from them and keep uh, your eyes focused on the Lord. Don't touch any other man's wife and wait until God gives you a bride. If fornication does not overcome your mind, then the enemy cannot overcome or overtake you. Reuben further explained that fornication leads you to hell. It separates you from God. And Joseph guarded himself against a woman and found favor in the sight of the Lord. The main message is to flee youthful desires. Guard your senses and focus on God. Seek God for understanding. Have an eye-opening day. God loves you.